Every now and then, something happens in the natural world that completely shocks everyone. This can be a discovery of a new species, or a rediscovery of a species that was thought to be long extinct. Unfortunately, however, there are also many negative discoveries, such as mystery mass deaths. This is when a large number of a certain species of animal are found dead, and there is no clear reason behind this. These discoveries are often very bad news, and if they involve endangered species, they can even be devastating. In this video, I will be delving into some of these mysterious deaths as I'll be going through five of the strangest mystery mass deaths. And for our first strange occurrence, we will be heading back in time to 2017, and we will also be travelling over to Namibia, as the first animal in question is the hippopotamus. Famously, the hippo is one of the most dangerous animals in Africa, mainly due down to their highly unpredictable nature. Hippos kill around 500 people per year, which is even more than the deadly Nile crocodile. Hippos are famously semi-aquatic mammals, but surprisingly they're not perfectly adapted to the water. Although their name in ancient Greek translates to horse of the river, hippos can't actually swim, but instead float. They often walk along the bottom of rivers and lakes, and when doing this they can hold their breath for up to five minutes. This may seem impressive compared to a human, as most people can only hold their breath for around one to two minutes, but compared to other semi-aquatic mammals, this isn't that impressive, and the tree-dwelling sloths of South America can hold their breath for up to 40 minutes. Despite their extremely aggressive behaviour, hippos are herbivores, and can often be seen munching on grasses. This helps them reach such a large size, and of course this size is one of the reasons why they're so dangerous. Their size almost makes them seem indestructible, and this is why it was extra strange that 100 dead hippos turned up in Namibia. This mystery happened in a national park in the northeast, and at first it was a complete mystery. It's not as if one animal or a group of animals could have done this, because hippos are simply too formidable. Another theory is that it could have been poachers, but why would the poachers kill these hippopotamus and then not harvest any of their body parts? To this day it hasn't been completely resolved, but there is one leading theory, that being that the cause of these deaths was anthrax. Now anthrax is a deadly bacterial disease, which is known to kill game, cattle, and sometimes even humans. Every now and again there are large anthrax outbreaks, and this of course is deadly for the native wildlife. Anthrax can survive as spores, which can completely hide away in soil for years, before being disturbed and re-emerging. This is what's thought to have happened in this national park, and the weeks of hot weather before this could have been a factor. So if it was anthrax or not, this mass hippo death is a very interesting mystery. But for our next story, we will stay in 2017, but we will move over to El Salvador, as the animals we will be focusing on are sea turtles. Now there are seven sea turtle species alive today, with the largest being the jellyfish-eating leatherback turtle, and the smallest being the Kemp Ridley sea turtle. These creatures are some of the most loved marine reptiles, both being very pretty and very docile. But life for a sea turtle isn't exactly what you'd call easy. Life starts with a mad dash to the ocean, where the majority of these young turtles are picked off. If you make it to the water, the next part of your life is a mystery, as we simply know very little about this time in their lives. Unfortunately today, nearly all of the sea turtle species are listed as endangered, with all of them facing many problems in the modern world. Ocean pollution is definitely a factor, and of course so is overfishing, as they sometimes get caught in fishing nets. But strangely, one of the main hazards to a sea turtle actually happens out of the water. Famously, sea turtles lay their eggs on beaches, and they will often return to the same beaches throughout their lifetime. This means that if these beaches are compromised, they simply won't reproduce, or their eggs will be easily picked off. This means that developments on beaches are really hurting turtles, and their nesting grounds should be more strictly protected. The fact that most sea turtles are endangered made the mass death of 2017 more tragic. Around 400 dead sea turtles were found floating seven nautical miles offshore, and at first this was a complete mystery. Once again, predators couldn't be blamed, and it's thought that they may have been poisoned. There seems to be no reason why anybody would poison these turtles, and it was later discovered that this could have been a natural poisoning. It's thought that bacteria or a virus could have been the cause, or it could have even been caused by stress due to changing water temperatures. Although we don't know the answer to this mystery for certain, it was thought to be caused by deadly algal blooms. Toxic algae is known for killing many marine creatures, with red tides being one of the main examples of this. This isn't the first time that hundreds of turtles have turned up dead, and it's thought that in previous years the reasoning was the same. So even though it is very tragic, hopefully the turtle numbers in the area have recovered. But for our next mystery, we will be travelling back in time to 2011, and we will be travelling over to Arkansas, as the animal I will be focusing on is the red-winged blackbird. Now this bird has a very fitting name, because of course it is black, and it has a bright red coloration on its wings. Just like many other birds, they do display some sexual dimorphism, with females appearing more dull, and they are also often confused with the juveniles. They are one of the most abundant species of bird found in North America, and are often a very welcome sight. Despite their relatively small size, they are known to defend their nests 
suspiciously, even going after much larger birds. These blackbirds are also surprisingly fast and can travel at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. But strangely, on New Year's Day in 2011, instead of traveling 30 miles per hour through the air, they were traveling the same speed towards the ground. Thousands of these birds dropped dead out of the sky, hitting rooftop streets and even people's gardens. This all happens across a relatively small area and left the local people very confused. Many people quickly went searching for answers and rather strangely they weren't that hard to find. Mass bird deaths like this simply aren't that out of the ordinary and there is more than one reason why this can happen. It can be caused by a large lightning strike or high altitude hail. This can kill many birds in one go and would explain why over a thousand of these birds died in one area. So even though it seems strange at first, this mystery really wasn't a mystery at all. But for our next story we will be moving forward in time 10 years and travelling over to Lebanon as the animals we will be focusing on are fish. Now instead of just one species being affected in this story, there's actually a multitude of different species. That's because for this story we will be focusing on a lake where over 40 tons of dead carp floated to the surface. Now carp are known for being very hardy fish, which is one of the reasons why they're one of the worst invasive species in the world. They can tolerate many waters that other fish can't and that made this discovery even more interesting. After all these fish floated to the surface, there was a horrible stench and people were urged to stay away from the lake. At first authorities tried to claim that it was a disease that caused these deaths, but really the reasoning was much more simple and much more depressing. See, the waters in which these fish were found in were extremely polluted, with sewage and waste being tossed in at a regular basis. Many of the dead fish were found to have internal bleeding, ruptured organs and ulcers, which would completely explain this theory. When one fish dies in a water source it can cause a chain reaction, as their dead decaying body then adds to the water pollution. At the end of this chain reaction there are simply no fish left, which was unfortunately the case in Lebanon. So it turns out this mystery was quickly resolved and just goes to show what can happen if we don't look after our environment. But for our final story we will be travelling back in time to 2014 and heading over to the Pacific shores of North America as the animals that I will be focusing on in this story are starfish. Now unlike the previously mentioned blackbirds, the starfish has quite a confusing name. This is because it's not a fish at all and they are in fact marine invertebrates. There are around 1,900 starfish species and these can be found in all of the world's oceans. They are just at home in the tropical zones as they are in the frigid polar regions. One of the largest is the crown of thorn starfish and this is a voracious coral eating predator. Most people don't expect this behavior from starfish as they are such slow moving creatures. But strangely back in 2014, millions of disfigured starfish were discovered along Pacific shores. Their legs were shriveled up and some legs were even detached from their bodies. In the worst cases, some even turned to goo, and this caught the attention of many scientists. It's thought that this mystery could have been caused by warmer waters, which the starfish simply couldn't deal with. Although this theory was plausible, it's hard to explain why it would have happened to so many different species. Eventually, scientists came across the answer, and this mass death was thought to be caused by a deadly virus. Sea star associated denser virus is thought to be the culprit, and is the reason why millions of these invertebrates died. The mortality rate of this virus is thought to be around 95%, which meant that these starfish simply had no chance at all. So even though this mystery is now solved, it doesn't make it any less devastating. If you know of any other of these mysteries, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.